Uh, my next guest uh, is Ben Harris Quinney, chairman of the Bow Group. Uh, I need to talk about uh, Kemi Badenoch and her attitude to civil servants. She thinks many of them should be in jail. Uh, no comment, except good idea. Uh, now, uh, but before we get to that, Ben, are you there? Is Ben there? I am, yeah. Hello, Ben. Right, uh, before we get to Kemi, uh, you will remember this. This is uh, footage of Angela Rayner, uh, the housing secretary, dancing, and the deputy prime minister, indeed, dancing uh, on a four-day holiday in Ibiza during uh, August. Uh, guess what? She's just uh, uh, declared £836 worth of hospitality. Uh, she was given a uh, free DJ booth played for by Aita LLC. That's the agent of the DJ who hosted her at this party. So she declared it on the last day that uh, she could do so within the rules. That was September the 25th. Uh, so there she is dancing. We all remember that. So I suppose in a way uh, she'll say, I've been very transparent. I've been too transparent, as she likes to say. Uh, but did you, I don't know if you were listening to the show or watching the show earlier, Ben, but it literally in the last half an hour, it has emerged that Lord Wahid Ali gave Baroness Udin, a Labour peer, 62,000 after she was found to have lied about her expenses. She said her first home was in Maidstone and she claimed 125 grand but in fact her first home was in Tower Hamlets it was a lie and uh, she was ordered to pay them back and guess who helped her? Lord Wahid Ali gave her £62,000 to dig her out of that hole uh, Keir, Keir Starmer today has paid back £6,000 worth of freebies he's accepted since becoming Prime Minister. 500 quid a day, that works out at. Uh, 500 quid a week, rather, that works out at. That's, this, is, this is now out of control, this stuff, isn't it? Well, I mean, and of course, Rayner herself is, is no stranger to forgetting where she lives. But um, <laughs> I think what, 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 what people see, when, when politicians turn around and say, oh, it's all within the rules, you know, I've accepted... Um, tens of thousands of pounds worth of free clothes and Arsenal tickets, and it's all perfectly above board. Um, we, you know, th th these are these are elected politicians. We are not electing people to do this. And if it is within the rules, then the rules obviously need to change. Exactly. And exactly. Labour, Labour have been holier than holier on all of these issues when the Conservatives were in power. The Conservatives deserve a lot of criticism for a lot of the things they did. But we're now seeing that Labour are, if anything, worse. And, you know, you mentioned £6,000 for Keir Starmer. What's the total now in terms of all of the free clothes and apartments and football tickets that he and his wife have received? I think we're, we're well over um, multiples of, of six figures on that. And so these aren't, you know, trifling amounts. These are very significant amounts. I think Lord Ali is now under investigation himself by the Parliamentary Standards Authority. And the question is, why has he given all of this money? It probably wasn't for his own amusement. It's probably because he wanted something in return. And when that money is going to government ministers, we have to ask the question, what was he getting in return? We know he got a pass to Downing Street uh, when he shouldn't have done. But what else, one wonders? Uh, indeed, uh, and uh, I, you know, I want to get onto this Kemi Badenoch story in just a second. But uh, you know, I, I, Keir Starmer is quite clearly trying to draw a line out under it. Somebody's warned him about this six grand and said you better do something about that. Only last Friday, he said, "Oh, you know, I took uh, twenty-eight thousand pounds worth of free suits." Well, actually, uh, I forgot about sixteen thousand pounds more worth of free suits that I that I actually filed under office expenses. The guy's been cooking his expenses up anyway. Uh, and uh, this whole uh, freebie gate scandal, it, it, it's, it's consuming him. He's got to draw a line under it somehow. And just saying I won't take any more free clothes, that's not going to be good enough. I think somehow or other he's going to have to announce no more freebies. Otherwise, the public will not trust this man a second longer. Well, no more freebies, and we and we want to know the details of what all the freebies were and, and who the people uh, that were giving them over were and what they got in return. As I say, there is now a formal investigation into this Lord Ali figure who, who is at the centre of much of this recent controversy. 
And so I don't think it's enough for him to say we're drawing a line under it. No, no, we're going to look into this and we're going to find a lot more, I think. Yeah, indeed. I mean, something's going on. I mean, Keir Starmer keeps making these revelations. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that 16 grand. Yeah, sorry I filed it under office expenses. It should have been closed. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, six grand I've taken since I've been Prime Minister. Better tell you about it. People are saying to him, Keir, you've got to come clean. He recognises, or the people around him recognise, that this is big trouble. This spells massive trouble for this government. Uh, and the people of this country are disgusted in him and disgusted in his cabinet, and they better get that on board. Now, uh, let's turn uh, to what some people are cruelly calling the battle for the captaincy of the Titanic, uh, the next leader of the Conservative Party. Uh, we know the candidate. So, Kemi Badenoch. Uh, seems to be suffering with a bit of foot-in-mouth disease. Now, I thought this was very funny, what she said. She said that uh, between 5 and 10% of government uh, civil servants, Whitehall civil servants, are so bad, so bad, they should be in prison. Now, this is a funny statement, and, uh, you know, like my joke was, uh, only 10%, I put a lot more in prison. But then again, I don't potentially want to be uh, a future prime minister of this country. Uh, do you think with this kind of, these kind of statements, uh, she sort of screwed up a bit on uh, uh, maternity pay as well earlier in the week? Do you think she's uh, rowing herself out of this battle? I think, I mean, the, the maternity pay comment was stranger. Uh, the, the trouble with what she said about civil servants is that she's rowed back on it and called it a joke, despite saying um, many of them were leaking government secrets, many of them were overruling ministers. Um, I think th these are genuinely crimes. And, and certainly the, the British public, I think, have, have been in Stockholm syndrome for a very long time about this notion that the civil service have a right to, you know, neuter Brexit, overall the Rwanda scheme, um, go against what a democratically elected government wants to do. And obviously that's completely against the basic principles of democracy. You can't have a deep state where um, unelected officials uh, know best and are overriding elected officials. That, I think, I don't think she was joking. I think that is what Badnock was getting at. And someone has obviously... Uh, lent on her and said, you better row back on those comments. But I think fundamentally they're correct um, and she should have stuck to her guns. And really that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, it's good uh, point, good point. Her, but she, she, I, I, thought, I thought also that uh, there was some validity to what she said about maternity pay, that, you know, for small companies it can be extremely punishing to have to sort of give employees uh, full pay for whatever it is, you know, nine months, you know, or a year. Uh, so I thought there was something in that as well. Let's try to be a bit more business friendly. But she rode back on that. You're, so in terms of her leadership, uh, c uh, ambitions. You can't keep making statements and then say, oh, sorry about that bit of a mistake, can you? Right, and I think when you... Uh, you can't ignore also the fact that the Tories were in government for 14 years, she was in government for a considerable proportion of that, and so were all of the other candidates Absolutely, for Tory leadership. Ben, ben uh, I've got to go. It's time to go. Thank you very much to Ben Harris. Quinny.